we live in this black skin every day. We live it every day. It doesn't matter the size of your house, what's in your bank account, how fancy your hairline is. When you get pulled over and you see that police officer put his hand on his gun because you was doing 45 and a 30, you are in your car with your heart beating out your chest like today might be the last day. For you, Tyrese, you haven't put out any music in a while, but this, there was something that, that made you realize, look, this is how I'm going to express this. This is how I'm going to do this. This is how I'm going to address it. Um, and I'm wondering if there was a particular incident or if it's a culmination of everything that we're all going through. It's a culmination. Um, but it was definitely George Floyd's death that gave me life creatively and um, mm -hmm. we've all had those moments where we've seen something we've experienced something there's a particular arrogance from those bad officers who are specifically moving like I am the law and I'm above the law so this is not about me my own self-interest singles chasing hotness or relevancy. I don't care. I will reach out to you when it's about Tyrese mm -hmm. and my album and my single or my project. Me and Dion, I'm out of pocket 250,000 that I'll never get back because I'm giving 100% of the proceeds to Breonna Taylor, George, Trayvon, Eric Garner, and the 17 year old young lady who filmed the footage of George Floyd's murder that was at eight minutes and 46 seconds. With, with that said, I'm watching the video and there, there are some parts that initially I'm like, I don't know if I want to see that. Oh my God, I don't know how I feel about that. And I leave the video with uh, an array of different feelings and emotions. And I'm like, nah, hold on, I got I to gotta watch that again. Now, maybe it's because it was a reminder of how angered I was when I first saw that first 840, eight minutes and 46 seconds. Maybe it's because I've never actually seen any visuals attached to the case of, of Breonna Taylor's murder. But what is it, and Dion, you can hop in on this as well, but what, what feeling do you want to evoke from people when they see this body of work? First off, we're living in a bigger moment than the civil rights moment. For the rest of your life, when you see these marches, when you see George Floyd, when you see Ahmaud Arbery, when you see Breonna Taylor, you're going to remember this. It's, it's, it's locked in. It's a computer chip in there now. It's over. So I think part of what's gripping about the video is we messed it into the, into the world. We put it into, the, into this orbit to where you can now watch it visually with these incredible lyrics from Tyrese and CeeLo and you understand what they're talking about and you can feel the pain from CeeLo when he's singing and you understand what Tyrese is rapping about. It's just all there and, and we're living in it. Kenny Smith just walked off the set of the TNT. The Milwaukee Bucks just walked off the game. Like the, 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 the baseball team just left the stadium. It's like, it's happening, man. Artistically, if you could play that video and people could be like, I want to go do something. You've done your job. What do we need to do? What needs to happen first in order for this to be different this time around? If there is a such thing as you putting 1500% into, into helping to shed light on the flaws and shortcomings of all of these injustices and traumas, this would be the one interview to go as far as you can possibly go. Gotcha. We get nothing out of this other than saying God is speaking through us as black men and fathers and husbands to be able to say enough is enough.